Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to Derail Valley. My goodness, this game, huh? Absolutely loving it. Anyway, I found a very interesting job. Goes from the harbor where we are currently and goes all the way to city southwest. It does require a hazmat one license though, as you can see there, but it does pay tons. Now, I don't have that license yet, but I guess we can go ahead and buy it together. So that will take us from the harbor here all the way to the west city southwest right there. So maybe we could go ahead and buy the license together. But before that, we would need to pay off our fees here. And you can see my copay is now 27500 You start off with 5000 Yes, And as you buy licenses, you that copay increases. So that's like removing the training wheels. The game allows you to screw up in the beginning and as you progress with the licenses, it doesn't uh, get you away with it anymore as much. Um, because I actually got myself, where do you find it? The license. I actually was able to buy already the steam train license as well as concurrent jobs one, which allows us to take two jobs at the same time and train length one but now I also want to get hazmat one that's 40k and if I look at the uh, if we go and print the info there it's actually going to increase the insurance copay by 38,000 oh my goodness are we sure about this that pays a lot but I really have to be careful uh, I'm scared now uh, but yeah let's do it why not? Okay, so let's go ahead and pay our fees here. Um, can we just pay everything? Is it possible? Or do we have to do that one by one? So if we do that, confirm. That's paid off. 16% copay. Okay, just repeat it for each one, I guess. And last one, we still have 143,000 in the bank, even after buying all those licenses, so not too shabby. All right, now we can buy the hazmat one. So with that there, that increases our copay to 70,000-ish. There we go. Yeah, time bonus is also stricter. So the difficulty is increased, but we are getting now more and more possibilities for the jobs. So if you look at the fees here, you see if I can go there properly, 65,000 now is our copay. Yikes. Yeah, that's deadly. Okay, so what I'll do is I will look for the for this particular load i'll go ahead and position ourselves there and i'll be right back catch you in a bit okay i think this is it looks like the guy i haven't accepted the job yet so that the timer won't start yet but seems to fit based on the colors the dark color yellow white dark and white and it says here gasoline so it's a, as a close fit as I can find. Right, and I have a new toy. I bought this in the, I think I found this in the machine factory. Yeah, in machine, machine factory in town in the shop there. I found it. You might have seen it in my inventory, this guy. Locomotive remote. This allows you to control your loco even if you're not in it. So the thing that you have to do is to power it on. And you see it, this is blinking when you're inside a loco, because you can pair it. And so now, even if I'm outside here, I can do stuff and control the loco with this. So I'll try that out later. For example, I can change the reversers to be facing forward. I can go and enable the brakes, things like that. And I can even couple this automatically so I don't have to do it manually anymore. So I'll let me show that to you and you'll see that the thing is there, lit up in green. Perfect. Uh, I do still want to do that manual coupling though, that is just so cool. But uh, if you're like 
running out of time and you really need to rush it then that's going to be perfect anyway let's go back if i can find the office and accept this job hope i got the right one this guy all right and we are going to city southwest the track is e50 exactly that's where we were that's where I position myself if I can, if I can find it again. E50. Let me show it to you. That's the guy. Oh, here's that's the one. E50. And that's where we are exactly. That's where we are coupled already. So all that's left to do is to go and take this to City Southwest. And let me showcase this a bit. So I let go of the brakes. And I tap the throttle like so. Isn't that cool? This is going to be perfect for shunting. And if you remember the previous episode where we were we went the wrong way and I had to drive backwards across a tunnel and stuff like that. Well I could now easily just park myself in here. So that's something we could do. There you go. So we could easily just like go and park ourselves here get a nice view in the drive backwards and it would be no problem this remote here costs like 25,000 but I think it was well worth it and in addition this allows us to do like multiple logo setups remember I was asking you guys if that was possible apparently it was the only difficulty is you'll have to adjust the throttle manually for each train that you have so if you have like two or three trains and you'd have to do all of those one by one step by step but if you have this remote i can have like two locos i am on the first one the, the remote is paired to the second one and i can control both by just staying here in the first loco and adjusting the first loco parameters here and then if i need to change anything with the second uh, throttle then i can change this one like like that so I can stay and don't need to like jump across different locals that way. That's going to be perfect. Alright, so we have to be very careful here. Uh, let me go and put down the world map so we see where we're going. Harbor in town, westbound. And uh, we keep on going all the way to city southwest, okay. And we try and follow the speed limits. This is my first time taking a hazardous uh, hazmat job. I'm not sure how sensitive it is. But if we follow the speed limits and don't crash into anything, which might be a tall order for me, um, we might just make it. <laughs> so we'll see. Also, I yes, I did try the... Yes, yes, <laughs> that's why I have a shovel here. I did try the steam train a couple of times. It is powerful. I don't know how to drive it properly, but I don't like it because it gives you such a limited view of your surroundings. It feels like you're in a prison, a moving prison. Like imagine any only thing you can see is like this small window here and everything else is blocked. Not like this train where you can see almost everywhere 360. So yeah, it's I'm not a fan, but I can try it out. If you guys really want it, go and let me know in the comment section if you want to see it. Or if you want to try better, maybe a double local setup. I think I would be more interested in that personally, but I'm open to suggestions. Anyway, I'm still making our way and uh, trying to save up for proper, uh, for proper diesel loco, the DE6. I would require 200,000 for that though. Little slip. Let's get some sand in here. I guess I don't really need to go that fast. Yeah, because I will be limited here anyway. It's a bit. We have quite a few sharp turns here, so I can just go in like this. I think it will be easier to see. Also regarding the station maps, I found actually someone who uploaded this as image files. So if you're not in a VR setup, it's going to be advantageous because you don't need to open this at all. I can have just 
I have a second monitor. I have it open with me so I know where I need to go. Call it cheating if you like, but for me it's very useful. <laughs> okay, branching off here. And if you look at the world map, we should be going to the right. Okay. Maybe we can speed up a little. Get some sand in. I love the sounds that this game makes. Everything just feels so real. 40, huh? Okay. 40 to the right. And you can hear when your wheels are slipping. That is indeed to the right. Let's just allow it to accelerate on its own. Right, let's get off that sanding. give the engine a break for a second study our map here we should be in a fairly straight leg soon there we go so the limit does increase but we would need to go faster so we can utilize this straight path here So I'm just nudging the throttle bit by bit. It's actually easier to see if I open this one. And by the way, you see there's like a battery level here. This is apparently a solar powered battery. So if I like go here and face the sun, you can see that the batteries are charging. If I'm here inside where there's shade, batteries are going to slowly get depleted. Such a nice twist such a nice feature very nice for additional challenge come on bit by bit yeah I can't even like in the steam train I can't even see the speed limit ahead until it's right in my face because of the such limited visibility there's so many things to do in the steam train so many things you have to take care of but yeah, it's uh, I guess it takes some getting used to, but I just don't like the view. Even if I am familiar with it, you know, it's not the same. <clears throat> Where are we now? Let's check. And I am slowing down. bit slower here but not really that slow huh slacking off a bit that is lovely all right with two locos i guess you can accelerate faster you can pull more but then again this shunter is capable enough of they say pulling up to around 400 tons Right now our job is only, what, 200 tons? 240. Should it be that heavy? I think we can do that on our own. <clears throat> Accelerate. Let's do this. Yeah, that steam crane though is seemingly a powerhouse. So, yeah, maybe we can try it just to let you know and maybe you can give me some tips as well for now though let's enjoy the view and let's uh, be very very careful my goodness I'll be honest I'm a bit scared let's see here 50 but I think we can easily stretch it out to 40 kilometers per hour have a bit of leeway to slow down if necessary hope you're loving this guys because I sure am love the views 
and despite the the minor stutters and the texture issues you know it's not yet perfect but the way it is right now it's just so good and this experience of being in a train riding through the rails like this and having to do so many balancing acts so to speak is just such an immersive experience i can only imagine how much more immersive it is in oh, is it 60 okay how much more immersive it is in vr maybe let's let the en engine breathe a bit unless that one is allowing us to yeah exactly so let's tap on the brakes here just slow it down to 40 and let the engine cool down a bit as well this is probably my favorite time when you're uh, throttling down just coasting and you can hear the rails and the trains going through each and every rail there is so nice All right you can speed up again they do say that the steam train can haul up to a thousand tons so in terms of power, if you have like a large load, multiple jobs and whatnot, then that is something we can work with. But yeah, currently not my favorite because simply because of the, the views. I think the additional workload I can live with. The additional workload I can handle somewhat, get used to it. But limiting the these beautiful views that's really where it uh, turns it down for me although i do understand that it's realistic that's probably how a steam train really is and there is a certain historical and uh, vintage factor to it but i don't know just more than happy with this in my funky remote right here super cool and yes i can even see my speed here the map looking that should be fairly straight why are you limiting me to 50 i doubt it will slow down afterwards <clears throat> yeah exactly 80 right i guess after some time once you go through these uh, roads railroads and get used to them you'll start even memorizing the different speed limit changes and eventually you won't even need to look so much at the speed limits just look at the bend and you'll have an idea how fast you need to be well I'm not at that stage yet but I sure hope we get there one day take a photo of this one mm. we'll see when we get to a bridge I'll try to do my best my very best of how to take a decent photo and that's such a view huh? this is my favorite view right here with the train the rails the bending road and everything that involves beautiful Give me a bridge already so I can take a screenshot. There we go, I think that's good. Let's jump in. Let's take a photo right here. I think that will be majestic. Ah, I, I suck at taking photos. I was too late. That probably didn't even include the logo in the shot. Just the tanks. <laughs> Just the tankers. <laughs> and yes if i said anything like trailer again really sorry still have to get used to the terminologies but yeah feel free to comment and teach me so i get used to the thing okay how about that one guys how about that one that certainly helps doesn't it i still wish there was a boss mode where you can fly around you can fly around but it won't be bossed so it will be very 
disastrous if you don't see any of the speed limits ahead of time. You miss some of them because you're too busy taking photos. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, where are we? Going straight, next junction. Well, not really a choice there. You just basically follow the road. But I guess we can speed up here. There's also something, uh, I forgot what the term was with the steam train. They don't use a reverser. It's more a uh, regulator, I think. It's not just forward or backward. There's still there's also some balancing between torque and uh, speed. And I don't get it at all. So if you have tips for me, let me know. So I can study up on it. So by the time I do a video on steam train, I am more knowledgeable. So right now I did two jobs in it. Aside from the workload that you have to balance, putting coal in, putting water, and all that stuff, the regulator concept completely baffles me. Looks good. Does seem to be heating up the train fairly well. Engine is almost in the warning zone. So maybe let's go ahead and slow down here. After all, it seems like speed limits are uh, going down bit by bit. So now might be the best time to just coast along. What is this? Don't tell me that's a 4. That's a 9. Okay, good. Phew. That's almost scared. But yeah, this view, right? This view is just so amazing. Ah, love this game. Alright, headlights. The headlights seem to always come off when you get off the train. I don't know why. Or when you get back on it. Be more accurate. Yikes. Where did that come from? Break it up, break it up. That should be okay. Release the brakes. Perfect. Trailers. Oh, cars, not trailers. They're still intact, right? Good. I think so. Alright, off we go. Let's get back some speed in. That was a nice turn. That was a very smooth turn. I think that's one of the smoothest turns I've done so far. Smooth operator. Looks like we'll have to slow down again here though because there is another junction coming up. Don't really have to choose whether left or right. Only way is right but I'm guessing it's a bit of a sharp turn so probably have to yeah 50 here. Let's let it breathe. Is that where we're going? I think we're going past that. I think that might be the farm. Huge farm though, if it really is. Look at that speed limit. 120. Wow. Push it. And we have downhill. Nice. Just what I like. We shouldn't be complacent though, because this is going to be a short leg. And we'll have to turn left pretty soon afterwards, so... I think I'll accelerate a bit. No, just let it coast along like that. That might be the safer approach. We don't have to rush it so much. We do have a lot of time in our hands. I think the time bonus is 50 minutes, but I guess we can make it in like 30 minutes or so. Maybe. <laughs> Not completely sure. We get the comms radio ready just in case we need to change anything here. Also, I think we need to slow down. Yeah, that's 50 and the junctions. We are headed left already and the speed limit is actually 60 kilometers per hour, so that's good. We are actually right within the safe zone already. Perfect. And here it's 50 again. So let's continue slowing down just to be on the safe side. Slow down please. Thank you. So how it is how is it in VR you don't have hotkeys? Each time you have to change a control, you have to look down and really 
manipulate it? That's going to be challenging. Or is there a way to keep looking forward and still manage the controls like what I'm using? Because it is possible in real life, right? You're looking forward, but you, uh, your hands are on the throttle and the uh, different levers. Alright. Now, we are passing through the farm, I think. By default, the junctions here should allow us to just pass through to like the, the bypass lane. Uh, I'm not sure what the term is. But we should be just be able to coast through the entire place. Oh crap. Slow down. That's a very sharp turn. The advice is 30 kilometers. Okay. There you go. Yeah, I used to underestimate the challenge of driving a train. I thought before that well it's just like you're just going straight not like even driving you have to turn left turn right you know here you just go forward go back and uh, you just apply the right power and then slow down but yeah the, the concept of uh, really derailing the possibility of derailing if you don't manage your speed well is something that was beyond me before and I guess that's also partly because some of the simulators we've had don't really derail maybe they give you a penalty if you're speeding but there is no risk of derailing unlike this game where you're really high stakes you know it's not just a matter of penalty your entire load could go up in flames literally so yes I would uh, be very careful these places all right they go straight i'll probably slow down a bit though because i think the safe speed here inside the station is 30 kilometers per hour not so sure but just keeping it safe you can always speed up later there you go oh goody 11 push it again and later what's cool is I can, I can actually get ahead of the train so that I can go ahead and plan how I get into the city because the job is saying we need to park this in station in track C3I Charlie 3 India not sure where that is at the moment but hopefully soon I will have an idea looks like we are coming up on an intersection again oil well central okay uh, we should be on the bypass lane so on the right lane here that should allow us to bypass all of these uh, all of the traffic here all of the track the trail no not trailer of all of these cars sound as you go through the junctions like that this is such a relaxing game well in the beginning it's uh, overwhelming with all the things you have to take care of but after a while you get used to it it starts to be relaxing and the views are always amazing the next thing i hope they would add is ai other trains on the tracks and then you'd have to uh, contend to have to work with signals that's an, an entirely different ball game. I'm not sure if they're even planning on that. Right. In terms of the map, okay, we should be home free to speed up for the next couple of meters at least. So let me step it up. And let me do something. Go ahead, okay. I opened my station map in the other screen so I see where we're going. So we'll be coming from the east here. And uh, C3I, right? Okay. 
All right, I think I have an idea where we need to go. Okay, but this second screen is so helpful. Power. Good. Just keep at it. Get there soon. But yeah, I'm super excited to save up for the DE6. To buy the DE6 local. That should give us more power than ever. I think here we keep on the right supposedly. Double check. Yes. Good thing is it does remember the last time you passed through this area. So it uh, the, the signal is based on where you came from. Tap the brakes a little. You know tap the brakes is like a very trucking oriented term but you get me right but yeah if you want to teach me uh, these right terminologies for train enthusiasts you guys let me know happy to adjust my uh, phraseology 30 kilometers here so let's keep within the speed limit don't know why though it seems like a fairly straight route maybe that one that part we just passed is 30 kilometers Also in terms of sounds, I like the sounds of this shunter much better than the steam logo. I don't know if the steam train really sounds like that, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, maybe after all the hype I built up around the steam train, we really have to drive it. I will try and learn more as, as much as possible. But not really a fan of it though. Not even sure if it's compatible with the remote, and the remote is uh, such a useful tool, especially for shunting and working around the yard. Okay. <clears throat> 70 here, okay. So as we enter the station, as we enter City Southwest, I should be turning on the right. Whenever there's a branch, there's a junction, I should be turning right, right, right. Yes, okay, there's one coming up. Um, yes, but th that's not the city just yet, I think. And let's go down here. Should be on the right also. Yes. And 50 kilometers is fine, so I don't need to do anything with my speed. We can just enjoy the ride. There seems to be another set of things in there though. Yeah, where I have a bit of trouble with is... I'm not really sure when the city starts. But yeah, like this one, there's another junction here. I'm not sure if I have to turn left or right. I think I have to turn left to enter the place. Slow down here. Yeah, look at that. I think I go to the right. And then I... Let's see if this makes sense. Move left there. Does that make sense at all? Am I where I need to be? I have no idea, guys. Because I didn't follow the schematics at all. Slow down here. Where the heck are we? Turn right. Alright, let me see. And then turn right here. But this looks correct. Let me go push for Yeah, this is C3i. Ooh, lucky. Okay. Looks like they are good here. Left, right, and then here should be left. Yes. And from there, I can use the remote. Left, right, and then left here. And that should land us in C3i right there. Perfect. You can speed up a little. And this is where this remote controller shines. Much easier to go and adjust as necessary. That is where we need to go. Perfect. 
Oh, that was lucky. Actually, they didn't follow so much the schematics of the station. Of that sound. Right, let's start applying the brakes here bit by bit. Looking good, guys. That should be more than enough. Okay. Stop. Good. Do we want to decouple this on our own? Well, maybe not. Let's make use of this fancy thing. There we go. Perfect. And now we can turn this off. Awesome. That went smoothly. I hope. Not yet done though. We have to still submit this. Now the station should be... The office should be where? Um, it's pretty far on the right here. Let's see if we can find it. The white building. Where are you? I think I'm out of the territory here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, there's so many white buildings in here. All right, let's see. How long did we take? 31 minutes only. See? Nice. All right, so how much did we earn? We earned 28k as base and time bonus of 14k, so that's 43,000 in total. Awesome. And I don't think we incurred any fees, but... Oh, crap. Don't think we incurred any fees. Yeah, no fees, no damage to other environmental areas. So 43,000 in addition. Our wallet now contains 147. Why is that? Oh yeah, because I bought the hazmat... Um, the hazmat license okay so one step closer to 200k we'll see how much fees did we incur there this one is the fee for the train so that's 8k but if i service it on my own then that's going to be only 4k but yeah that is great stuff right there so i'll do that next time and uh we'll see how we progress either steam train or if i earn enough maybe we go straight to de6 next episode but you guys let me know which you prefer and yeah, looking forward to the next episode, guys. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Help me find my train. There it is. And uh, catch you in the next episode. Clumsy training. Bye-bye. See you soon.